to an arrest in the murder of a beloved Miami Gardens teacher. Family members just shocked as police reveal the suspected killer is her friend, a former colleague. Local 10's Danella Sabovic is live with how investigators say he tried to cover this whole thing up. Christina Cole, detectives say Camila Russell was last seen alive on surveillance video walking into the home of a longtime friend, Ernest Roberts, who is also the godfather of her two young daughters. He is now charged in her murder. This is a photo of 39 year old Ernest Roberts wearing a get over it t-shirt as he was arrested this morning. And here's his mugshot hours later. Miami Gardens police say they have evidence suggesting he is behind the murder of Camila Russell, a Miami Gardens mother and test chair at Miami Norland Senior High School. Authorities say the former Norland assistant principal, who was also Camila's longtime friend, was the last person to see her alive on May 15th. She entered the defendant's home, never being seen alive again. According to an arrest affidavit, Roberts left a note for a fellow school employee asking if he knew how to chop up a car to make it disappear, attached with the keys to Russell's Audi. That employee became concerned and called police. It was a break came in the case from a school employee who referred a very suspicious note from Roberts that instructed the employee where the victim's car was and what he was supposed to do with this car. Roberts later told his colleague that he had killed an intruder with a baseball bat and wanted to know how to clean up blood. Detectives found traces of blood near Roberts' front door, master bedroom on an Amazon box, and bloody sandals in the master bathroom. While the evidence may be there, a motive remains unclear. A motive is not a necessary element of a crime, but of course, we all want to know. And the cause of death is blunt force trauma to both sides of Russell's head. I did have a chance to speak to her family off camera. They tell me they are still processing all of this. They don't have a statement as of yet. They're just very shocked and stunned that the alleged murderer is someone that they all knew. They're now in the process of planning her funeral. That's the latest here from Miami Gardens. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.